Scott, I'm Gabe Marmano. And I'm Andres Fernandez. And we are ABC3. Alright, in the latest news, there was a fungi outbreak in the most common uh, banana varieties in the world. This outbreak is caused by the Fusarium oxysporum. And we have a local farmer who, who thinks he has found a way and a solution to deal with this fungi problem. That increasing the amount of GMOs in bananas will help reduce the amount of fungi that is being uh, introduced to bananas right now. And if you ask yourself, what is a GMO? Well, it is a genetically modified organism that has been artificially manipulated to have a certain type of type, like a gene or a certain DNA that is strong. <clears throat> All right, now we're gonna go live with Michelangelo Jordan and Abe's coming, interviewing a local banana planter. Hi, right, thank you Gabriel for that introduction. We have Michelangelo George with uh, channel ABC3. So we're going to interview here uh, a local community farmer here, John Gotti. Um, and we're here to interview him about a recent fungal outbreak of some bananas around the world. Uh, hi, John. Oh, hi, Hello. Sir. And um, so we're just here to ask you, sir, you know, uh, what do you, you know, you know how, how do you feel about the recent uh, fungi outbreak in bananas? <clears throat> well, most of the fungi outbreaks are because uh, are mostly found in organic bananas, but my bananas, which are genetically modified, they they they're inserted with a special gene that prevents it from attracting any bacteria. As you can see here, <coughs> one of my bananas, and as you can see, it's perfect quality, and there's nothing wrong with it. It tastes just as good as an organic banana. So yeah. yeah. So, so we also want to ask you, you know, how do you benefit on, you know, using the GMO product? Well, as a local farmer, I don't want, while using GMOs, I don't have to worry about pests um, laying ends, eggs in my crops because GMOs have special components that prevent, prevent them from doing it. And since I don't have to worry about pests, I don't have to worry about buying pesticides, which is a lot of money throughout the year. All right. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. That. All right. All right, I'm here with Farmer John Gotti. This is Michelangelo George. Back to you, Gabriel. Thanks, Mike. So tonight, we have a special guest, Mr. Banane, which is a GMO banana. He's come to tell us the benefits about using GMOs to ease your fears and to change your mind. So, nonetheless, Mr. Banane. Hello, there, Gabriel. Right, Happy to be here. So, sir, um, so, you know. Well, we, before, before we get started, I'd like to yes, give sir. you a present here. Yes, sir. Of course. It's a banana. Oh, okay. okay. It's the best after me, of course. Here you go. Okay. Okay. Oh. I like it. All right. It, it looks. Uh, it's pretty tasty, huh? It, it looks, looks pretty yellow. tasty. It looks pretty good. Yeah. Uh, it's yellow. You should probably eat it after we're done uh, here. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it. Um, okay. Yeah, I'll see. That's pretty good. It's interesting. Yeah. It's interesting. Because. You know, I also gave, I also got you a gift. It's oh, really? Uh, uh, because, you know what? You saw a problem. Sure, so, I sure do. You saw a problem. <laughs> I sure do. I, I appreciate it. Mr. Benene, um, so tell us some of the benefits about using uh, GMOs in bananas. and bananas. So well, you see, Gabriel, in the last 30 years, this has been a new disease called the Black Zygotoka. The only way to treat this disease will be to use large amounts of fungicides. Using this much amount of fungicides can create pollution. Well, we, the GMO bananas, have been breeded to uh, res resist this type of disease, you know, and reduce the pollution in the environment. Yeah. All right, so that, that's pretty impressive. Um, so what other uh, benefits did you have? Other benefits that genetically modified bananas provide is the extra nutrients like iron, vitamin E, and vitamin A. For example, Uganda, a third world country, are the number one consumers of bananas, but a deficiency of vitamin A can lead to illnesses and even be fatal in some cases. The GMO bananas provide the extra help that organic bananas do not. Alright guys, that's all the time we have. Please tune in next week for our next episode. Next time, if you're deciding whether you're for or against GMO, use your brain.